What's up everyone? My name's Will. You're watching Arnett's Heyday. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back. Today, same day as the last one, we're talking about the Central Machinery 8-inch portable ventilator. Now, last time, a couple, a week or two for you guys, 10 minutes ago for me, it was impressive, it did its job, it did it in a very small area. So what I was thinking, if it can do it in a small area only, and it did an okay job, pretty good job in a small area. Let's make it excellent in a small area and make it its own, like, vent hood. Let's check it out. So, I bought these. They are 8-inch dryer hoses that are flame retardant and they're double wall or quadruple wall. Where did you learn to count? Whatever that means. Insulated. So, let me put you guys down. What the, oh, Jesus Christ. So what that means for us is, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a HVAC technician. Ask somebody else. You're not here for the facts. You're here to see if things work. Well, I guess you are here for the facts. Anyway, buy the ventilator. You buy these. They already come with clamps. Uh, you're looking at roughly 110 bucks, give or take. Oh, that's nice. Nice. You're looking at about 110 bucks, give or take. I was thinking, why not have it right in your area? You know, set that sucker up right there and just suck all your problems away. Wish it was that simple. All right, so that goes right in there. We'll be duct taping, of course, because you got to keep it in budget. What am I having trouble speaking for? It is an exhaust. There we go. I have one exhausting an eight foot section of tube, and then I'll have an eight, eight foot section. God bless. Eight foot section of tube coming out the back. When it's coming out the back, you'll have it. Say I'm going to put it up top, be over top my workpiece. So while well, this guy would be running eight foot that way, when the other hose would be eight foot out the door. Wherever I'm welding in front of me, say my piece is here, it's not going to get to me. You know, it's going to be welding over here. I don't have to worry about fumes at all. Why worry about fumes in the shop if there are no fumes? All right, so let's go find some duct tape. You know, I, uh, I bought scissors. I didn't buy no duct tape. So we're going to use electrical tape. And I don't know where to put the scissors, so I'm going to use my teeth. God scissors, incisors. All right, so far, you get the gist of what I'm doing. It's not permanent. We're gonna get some Gorilla Tape or something, or some T-Rex, whatever the heck that is, Alien Tape, I don't know. Yeah, we're getting there. It's only costing me my dental work. All righty, we got one side done, done. And like I said, I have eight foot of hose here. I'm not trying to stretch that too hard. We'll put it right here. Um, this is the exhaust, so let's go ahead and turn it on low. <laughs> it's a very, very funny noise. Are we getting ventilation? Space Odyssey. Let's crank it on high and see if we don't collapse it somehow. It always made that noise? I hope so. Oh yeah, that is gonna freaking work, boys. That's like, they ain't gonna amplify it. Alrighty, it is complete. Looks like a little pig. You guys remember the pig vacuum cleaner? I don't know if you're old enough for that. A lot of you are. All right, we're gonna turn on low and see if it just implodes. Oh, boy. Getting all the suck. Oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's really pulling. Holy smoke, I just wanted to pull that tape in. Yeah. Not that powerful. Hey, sweet. Hey, get get out of here. Yeah, that, that increased it by 
a lot. Let's turn it on high. Yeah, that that's a lot of pull. All right, I call that a success. Is it an abomination? Yeah, but so is shopping at Harbor Freight to some people. So I'm gonna set up another test. Hopefully it doesn't ruin this thing. So let's get at it. And the best part, you just accordion it back. It's easier two hands, sorry. Get up there, come on. I might put like little Velcro straps might be a foreshadowing moment because this is annoying yeah a little velcro straps but all said and done it's only like i don't know 40 feet longer all right let's get this over there Ugh. all right say you're over there welding oh my it's not working at all what happens Uh, it wasn't high enough. That's my fault. Come out of there, little dude. Ow, my arm. It just burnt me so bad. Ow. There. You eliminate the majority of the problem before it happens. See all that? That would be like, I, okay, I screwed up in the beginning. I didn't have it up far enough, far enough, but it does work. I should have executed that a little differently. Now here again with the burning eyes and the movie level drawing of smoke. All right, say so you're over here welding. 16 feet that way you have an exhaust hopefully this doesn't tear it up. okay so did it work yeah yeah it did is it a valuable upgrade you seen it it was pulling smoke once i figured out that i had it up too high uh too low and i really that is burnt plastic from that stinking smoke anyway uh, yeah, that, that worked really well. I mean, I could revise it a little bit, but in the meantime, like if you're welding over something and you had that set right next to it, it, it technically act like a vent hood. Uh, the only thing I could see doing different is putting more surface area for the smoke to come up and like hit, but it was also hitting it from the side, not from the top. So again, that was my fault. But it did work. That was not a failure, I will say. I, that impressed me how much it was pulling. Because once it goes in that tube, it like centralized how hard it was pulling the smoke. So I'll call that a win. Uh, instead of buying a, you know, whatever ventilator for 150 or $2,000 for a hood ventilator, they are different. They catch a lot more than just smoke. Uh, if you have the money, buy one of those. If you don't, just follow my instructions. Um, I'll try and find a link for the Amazon uh, tubes because they are fire retardant. Please get fire retardant. Don't, you know, you don't want like the plastic lined ones or anything like that because it's going to melt. You're going to suck up a spark or two and you're going to be in trouble or if you're grinding, you know. And I wouldn't say I would use it as a grinding hood like to suck up stuff from grinding this smoke's getting to me if you can't tell because all that's still going through your fan all that still has to go through the blades and all that crap you're going to gum it up would it work yeah but i don't know how long longevity is not probably on the on the table here but it worked good you've seen it i've seen it so i'm gonna call that a win um next time we'll probably revise it i'm gonna make me a hood for it so we have an actual bent hood and maybe we can see it in actual welding action, maybe even outside. So, uh, my name's Will. You've been watching r Heyday. Once again, thank you all for watching. Have a great day.